Hello, we've made this video as a guide for reception parents on how to read with your child. It's got three sections to it. Before reading, during reading and after reading. Today, we'll be looking at this songbird's book called Sam's Pot by Julia Donaldson. This is an example of a book that your child could be bringing home. Talk to your child about the author of the story. Make sure that they know that the author is the person who writes the story. In this case, the author is Julia Donaldson. Ask your child if they know of any other stories by the same author. For example, Julia Donaldson also wrote The Gruffalo and many other stories. Next, talk to your child about the title of the story. Support your child in sounding out the title. For example, S -a -m -s Sam's P -ot Pot Sam's Pot Ask your child who they think Sam is. Make sure that they know it is a name. Tell them that Sam is a character in the story. Ask them what a pot is. See if they can guess from looking at the picture. Next, ask them questions about the front cover. For example, who is in the picture? Well, we can guess that this is Sam. What is he holding? He is holding a pot. What colour is the pot? The colour of the pot is pink. What do you think is in the pot? It could be paint. How does Sam look? Does he look happy or sad? Who else is in the picture? We can also see a cat. What do you think the cat wants to do? Well, the cat looks like he's reaching for the pot. By asking your child questions about the front cover, you're really helping them understand the story. Encourage your child to predict what is going to happen in the story. For example, Sam is probably going to do some painting and maybe the cat will try and do some painting too and it will get really messy. That could be an example of a good prediction. Look briefly at the back of the book. In the songbirds books, you will find this box containing the sounds from the story. Practice these sounds before you start reading. S, m, k, t, g, p, a, o. Next, turn to the first page. Point out the page number to your child. Tell them that all books have page numbers and remind them to turn the pages from left to right. Show them how to handle the book carefully. Next, look at the picture and go over some of the words. For example, tap, sink, plant, Mug, paintbrushes, spoons, pot, paint, teapot, white spots, spinning wheel, easel. And also on the easel, there are some sounds that your child can practice again. So, g, t, Mm, s, a, o, o. Next, ask your child questions about the picture. For example, what is the boy doing? He is getting a pot. What do you think he is going to do next? He is most likely going to paint because he has paintbrushes in his hand. Has he done any painting yet? Not yet, because the paper is still blank. 
By asking your child these questions, you are helping them build up knowledge of the story and giving them a clue about what the text might say. After that, encourage your child to point at the words and read them by segmenting and blending them. At school, your child will have learned how to read words by first of all saying the individual sounds in them, which is called segmenting, and then putting the words back together quickly, which is called blending. For example, t, o, m, tom, g, o, t, got, a, p, o, t, pot. Once they've said all the words, Ask them to read the whole sentence. Tom got a pot. Point out the capital letter in the word Tom. Explain to them that Tom has a capital letter because it is a name. Ask them who they think Tom is in the picture. This is Tom. Ask them how they know that this is Tom, linking the sentence to the picture. They might say, that is Tom because Tom has got a pot. Once they have pointed Tom out, explain to them that Tom is another character in the story. Finally, point out the full stop at the end of the sentence. Tell your child that we use full stops to end sentences and they help give the reader time to pause for a breath. Ask them to turn over to the next page, page number two. Repeat the same process by going over the vocabulary first. For example, girl, cap, jumper, buttons, pot, polka dot dress, stripy tights, spinning wheel, blocks, cat. Ask some questions. What is the girl holding? The girl is holding a pot. What do you think is inside the pot? Well, it could be paint because in the last picture, Tom was going to do some painting. And maybe this girl is going to do some painting too. What colour is the pot? The colour of the pot is blue. Is the pot open or closed? The pot is open. What is the cat doing? The cat has two paws on the block and it looks like he or she is going to try and get the paint. What pictures can you see on the blocks? I can see an orange and an apple. Now, encourage your child to read the words by following the segmenting and blending process that I showed on the last page. For example, P, A, M, Pam, G, O, T, Got, A, P, O, T, Pot, Pam, Got, A, Pot. Ask them who they think Pam is. Once they have pointed her out, tell them Pam is also a character in the story. Ask them what they think Pam is going to do. Well, as we just said, she's most likely going to do some painting. Point out the capital P for Pam, because Pam is a name, and also point out the full stop. Then go to page three and continue the process. It's important to remember that you don't need to read the whole book in one go. Instead, we recommend reading between five to 10 minutes each night. When you have finished reading, it is really important to talk about and ask questions about what has happened so far. This will deepen your child's understanding. For example, you could ask them, can you name any of the people in the story? Well, we've met Tom, Pam, and also on the front cover, we met Sam. What were those people doing in the story? Well, Tom and Pam looked like they were just about to go and start painting. How were
the characters feeling? Tom and Pam looked really excited because they're about to go and start painting. You can also ask them about the text itself. Can you find any words that begin with the letter T, the sound T? Okay. Where is it? Oh, yes. Found it. T. Oh, mm. Tom begins with the letter T, the sound T. What other words apart from Tom do you know that start with the letter T, the sound T? Hmm. I can think of one, top, t-op, top. Can you find any words that end with the letter T, the sound t, the end, so not start, but end. Where is it? Oh yes, I found this one here, g-ot, got, and I've also found this one here, p -ot, pot, so got and pot end with the letter T, the sound T. Can you think of any words that rhyme with pot and got? Hmm. Yes, I've thought of one, not, n ot not rhymes with got and pot. Can you find the full stop? Where's the full stop? Yes, found it. Here's the full stop. Ask your child what they think is going to happen next in the story. We read pages one and two. So you could ask them, what do they think is going to happen once the children in the story start painting? You could Act out the story with your child. Also, try to relate the story as much as possible to your child. Ask your child if they like painting. What do they like to paint? What would they like to paint next time we do some painting together? What's their favourite colour? All of these questions will help get your child interested in the story even more. Finally, remember to praise your child before, during and after reading. Reading is really exciting, but it's also challenging too. And any praise will really help encourage them to want to do more. The last thing you need to do is fill out your child's reading record. And that is what our next video is about.